I apologize in advance, my um, my bench is chaos, but I wanted to do an update on a couple things. First, the bore lap, um, or should I say the bore lapping compound with the uh, corrosion inhibitor and all that. Um, it's very unlike the, um, the oil-based lapping compounds we're used to, and the reason is you spray this on and you don't actually really need to re reapply it. Um, it sinks in, it bonds, it sticks, it doesn't coat it doesn't contaminate the barrel um you can just run a run a swab down it afterwards just one pass nice and tight and that'll get everything cleaned off and it, it just it doesn't rub off it embeds right really nicely um so i'm pleased by that but without any oil it also doesn't lubricate itself so it takes more force to put it through um you can apply an oil or cutting fluid to it to um to improve its lubricity so you can push it through more easily, um, which is something I'd recommend. But, puts on a fine finish, doesn't need reapplying, simple, easy to use. Um, but, but yes, if you're not practiced at this, you, you need to be careful because it does require more force to push through. It doesn't push through as easily. Um, the other thing I wanted to um, mention were the um, crown enhancers. So, the Orga Magnus barrel which uh, is in vogue as of late, I looked at that and I figured, you know, its real claim to fame was its enhanced crown, or at least that's one of its claims to fame. And so I wanted to divorce that of their precision manufacturing and say, okay, what is the effect of this enhanced crown and what is the effect of just having a higher quality bore, etc. So um, I built a series of, I think I have some of a pack of them over here. I built a series of what I call crown enhancers. Um, and they're, they come like this. Uh, there are more to a pack than this. I've used several of them now. And this is not my first pack. But, um, but the basic idea is you have this, and these little buggies, and then it's keyed to um, the same square rod that you use for um for barrel lapping but it's important that you don't use the same rod because you put a twist in the rod and then you'll be putting rifling in your barrel and you don't want to do that obviously um sorry cdo it's ocd but spelled in alphabetical order as it should be um so tested it out playing around with it liked how it worked and thought, okay, I want to make that available to consumers now so other people can play with it, so I'm not fooling myself or anything like that. Um, it's good to start out with a nice coarse uh, compound when doing this. This is some super cheap, crappy um, 40 micron diamond in oil. It's also important to use cutting fluid when you do this because now you're using a power tool. So the idea is you use a power tool and you want it to be spinning in this direction. Um, that way you're actually pushing the cutting compound ahead and up onto the cutting surfaces. Now, while it doesn't look like it, this is actually subtly tapered along its length. So you can't just ram it all the way in. You've got to work it in slowly. And again, you're using a power tool, so you've got to be careful because you can apply a lot of force on one of these little buggers with, um, with a power tool. And... Um, and, and you can create a lot of heat as well. So you've, you've got to watch what you're doing. This isn't, this is not idiot proof, I should say that. Um, you can, you can overheat it till you melt this. Um, you can overheat it till you pretty severely burn yourself on the barrel. Um, or you can over torque it to the point where people say I never publish my failures. You can over torque it to where you break it. And this is my lubricant lesson for the day, kids. Um, so... I was working on one of these crowns with this compound, which doesn't contain um, a nice cutting lubricant, and I over-torqued it and sheared it there. So it is recommended that you apply a little bit of lubrication here, because otherwise it's going to be a real pain in the butt. Um, if you can see coming up here, these are the actual cutting surfaces. They're slightly angled to uh, bring compound up onto them, and they cut the barrel. Again, tapered, thinnest here, thickest over here. Um, and you can see each one has quite a bit of brass on it in this case. Um, here is the one I originally used with 40 micron to cut the barrel, and you can see it's it's loaded with um, 
with brass it's cut out from from inside here it's pretty simple to use you just get some of this stuff on your finger or whatever you load it on the surfaces and um, and then you run it you um, put the keyed rod in the back and you can make the rod as long as you need it to be um, and work it again be gentle keep it keep the gentle keep your workpiece cool um, and apply cutting lubricant as necessary although these oil based compounds are self lubricating which is nice um, but yeah, that's the overview. Um, questions, comments, whatever, put it down below. I'm making these available to people now, so people who want to experiment and, and toy around with this um, enhanced crown concept can do so. But yeah, I think that's uh, that just about covers it. Thanks, everyone.